Mortal Engines comes to us from the filmmakers from The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit Trilogy and Peter Jackson's King Kong 2005. Based on the novel the same name and book series the same name by Philip Reeve. Immortal Engines takes place in a post-apocalyptic steampunk world where basically all of the cities on the planet has is been mounted on wheels, motorized, and, pray, and they prey on one another. Hundreds of years after the civilization was destroyed by a cataclysmic event called the 60-minute war, a mysterious young woman, Hester Shaw, emerges as the only one who can stop London, which London is now a giant predator city on wheels, from devouring everything in its path. Tom Natsworthy is a 20-something London guy who has only ever lived inside his traveling hometown, and his feet has never touched the ground. Basically grass, mud, or land. His first taste of the outside world comes quite abruptly, which he gets in the way of Hester's attempt to kill Thaddeus Valentine, a powerful man she blames for the, the death of her mom. And both Hester and Tom end up thrown out of the moving place, traction city to fend for themselves. Feral and fiercely driven by the memory of her mother, she, Hester joins forces with Tom, along with Anna Fang, who is a dangerous outlaw with a bounty on her head. Going into Mortal Engines, this wasn't one of the films I was pretty excited for because I heard read. I didn't know it was based on a book I never read, but I did know that the team who did The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit and King Kong and Heavenly Creatures and The Frighteners, they were going to be doing the film. And when I heard that Peter Jackson was writing the film and producing the film, I got very excited because Peter Jackson, he's a great director. I, I love The Lord of the Rings films. I love The Hobbit. His version of King Kong is my favorite version of the classic character. And it looked, it looked, it had an interesting premise where all the cities has been motorized and prey on one another. And you had all this other things going on. But how is, how is the film? This film has received mixed reviews from critics. And unfortunately, this movie is not doing well at the box office because it is. This is basically a loss for Universal, which this film costs, of course, a hundred to one hundred and fifty million dollars, and is only making sixty point two six. I don't know if it's because of the release date or what, but but let me just say it right now. Mortal Engines is not a bad, it's not a terrible movie. I do have some issues going on with this movie. Number one, I the first issue is that I kind of feel like the screenplay doesn't really give you enough time to develop or the world that you're basically seeing on the screen. And that is one of my... The problems that this movie does kind of suffer from. And also, some of the characterization of most of the characters could have been a lot better. Even though you have three writers, the same three writers who wrote all three Lord of the Rings films and all three Hobbit films doing this. And, um, I, yeah, the script... Could have been a little tightened up and a little lot, a little bit written, better written. You could have went through at least two more rewrites, but I don't really mind the direction here. This is the directorial debut of Kristen Rivers. He was the visual effects supervisor, and he won an Oscar for the work in the 2005 King Kong remake. And I really like this film. I really like the film. The locations are really well done. Yes, there is a lot of special effects work. 
when it comes to the effects the effects look really good you have miniatures work you have visual effects work done by weta who does who did the special effects for a lot of big budget films they also did special effects for avengers most of the mcu films and they also helped with the effects in aquaman i think but the effects were really good the way the movie is shot i like the cinematography in the direction i like the locations the atmosphere the color palettes are very well chosen the action of course is very fun the action is fun when it's on screen especially the opening chase that was my favorite part of the film acting wise the film is is, is pretty pretty good it's pretty solid hugo weaving who's been in the lord of the rings and the hobby and the voice of megatron in the first three transformer films and of course agent smith in the matrix trilogy he's a great actor he's his character the character that he is valentine he is the villain and he is cartoonish but who go even he's a good act good actor and he so he does great he makes the material work robert sheehan plays tom Nasworthy, he does a great job. Jihei, I think, is a Japanese name. She, she plays Anna Fang, she does a great job. You have Hera Hilmar, she. She's, she plays the main character who's basically driven by the loss, the memory of her mother, and she's determined to get revenge, but it is basically, she learns that there's just more than revenge. I, so the acting is pretty good. And the music by Junkie XL, I have listened to the soundtrack after watching the film, and I gotta say, I, I like the soundtrack in this film. I like the sound effects, the, the engine effects, and the and the story is very interesting. I really like the interesting. And this was supposed to be the first in a film series, but because this movie is losing money for the studio and it's not doing very well, unfortunately, we're not gonna get sequels to this. But like I said. It could have used a little bit more of a fixer upper when it comes to the script. The villain could have been a little, little better, and it could have used a little some a little more character development. But I don't think Mortal Engines is as bad as everyone says it is. Is they say they, critics they also say said that Aquaman was a bad movie, and no, it's not. Neither is Fantastic Beast of Crimes of Grindelwald because they talk smack about J.K. Rowling too with that Crimes of Grindelwald. But I'm a defender of the of all three films, and I'm gonna and I do like the references to other series. And I like the tone. I like the choreography, the pacing. It's only two hours and eight minutes. The costume designs, the production design, and I like the re references to other films, including Star Wars, Mad Max, The City of Lost Children. And I like the social commentary, the political and historical commentary. So, it's not really that bad of a film. And yes, sometimes the story could be a little underwhelming, and Stephen Lang as Strike, he's also pretty good. And the author of the Mortal Engine novels, he likes he he likes the film. So sometimes people who write their own book series, they can re they really like if they tr if a director tries to do something different. J.K. Rowling, she loves her Harry the the way what they did with the Harry Potter series, and I do too.
because I'm a long side. I'm a Harry Potter fan for life. I, you you talking to a J.K. Rowling fan here? Yeah. <laughs> well, overall, Mortal Engines is not a bad movie. Do I think it deserves a 28% on Rotten Tomatoes? No. You could have at least went a little higher, like a 47 or something. But you can't please everyone. I will give Mortal Engines a highly recommend it. Let me know what you guys think of Mortal Engines down below. Do you like it? Do you hate it? What is your favorite Peter Jackson film? What is your favorite fantasy adventure film? Let's continue to roll to 1K subscribers. You guys keep it cool. Enjoying the appetizingness.